you sit here and look at us and think that we know what we're doing, you are wrong. No one tells you these things. Hey guys, what's, what's up? up? Oh my goodness, Thank every you. single time. Okie doke, you guys. So we have been asked non-stop what our plans are for uh -huh. after graduation. So Bailey and I are actually graduating a year early from college. So we did start college, what, in like 2019? 20, yeah, 2019. The fall of 2018. Thank so you. technically our official like graduation year is 2022. But Bailey and I have like stacked a lot of classes. We did a lot of college work in high school and we are managing to graduate a year early from college, which is why we are 21 and graduating because a lot of y'all. So ready, set, go. Ta -da! It's so much harder than it looks. Just me and casually. Adult. A sit up in the We are adults. <laughs> like that's crazy. Guys, we're 21 and we're done with college. I could sign for somebody, but I can. Like that's the thing is like I can. Like I'm totally responsible enough. I just like that's true. Don't feel. I just feel like I look like a 12 year old. So like I bought a car. Like who am I? We just met, happened to do. We did like words. Hello. Speak. We did um, classes over winter breaks, summer breaks. Anyway, all the breaks. We just did the whole shebang. So now we're graduating early. And means that we have to have plans for our lives oh. after graduation, which is literally, it's a month and a half it's away. It's coming up. This is crazy. So, oh. what are we doing after graduation? <laughs> Bailey, do you wanna go first? Sure. I, okay, well first we should preface this. For the first time ever, oh. in our lives, Brooklyn and I are splitting up. We are splitting up. Let's just take a moment. We're going all in opposite direction. It's insane. We've never been apart for more than like a week. No. We talked about going different places for college and could have done it, but then I think at the end of the day, or we both were kind of just like, yeah, man, never mind. And we went to Baylor. We realized we have a water burger. Adulthood is scary. Adult, yeah. If no you, one tells if you me sit here else. and look at us and think that we know what we're doing, you are wrong. It's Maybe. just kind of one of those things where you just like go with your gut. There's no instruction manual no. on this stuff. Like no one no. tells you like, okay, when you get to this point in college, you know, you should start thinking out about this, this and apply here and, here and do internships. Nothing. No one tells you these things. No. You just kind of have to figure that and out. The, like, no, like the world is kind of your oyster. Like you can do whatever you want. Like I was scared. It's intimidating. I thought I was, uh, or I thought I was gonna go to MBA school. So I took the GMAT a couple months ago. I literally studied and took the GMAT a couple months ago. Everything kind of flipped around. Definitely no instruction manual. I'm still winging it. You just kind of winging it. You know, say a quick prayer and and go. Of course you guys know Asa is here in Waco, so it didn't make much sense for me to leave. She was thinking about going to Dallas for a little while and just working up there in our office. So basically I'll just be staying in Waco near Asa. I'll be able to work and travel back and forth between Dallas and Waco. So I'll just be chilling here doing and the same old, same old thing. Maybe we'll hopefully see a wedding in the future. <laughs> I think we're all seeing the ticking time bomb. I, we're all ready for it to happen. I hope that's I hope that's what's coming in the future. Very. So that's what's just around the corner for me. And then Brooklyn is taking a whole other route. My my life, guys, is completely different. I am single and chilling. And Bailey and I are working on a really big, big, big project that hopefully we can tell you more about a little bit later on. But part of that project that I am hopefully going to be working on for the next little while, I am going to actually move to Utah. The plan I had a little while ago and hit some bumps in the 
the road and we still figured it out, I'm still moving to Utah. I feel like that's just something I need to do. And I'm going out there to take some classes to help me a little bit of knowledge for this project that we're doing. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> so I'm going out there to take some classes at a program. It's gonna be super fun. And you guys know like ham race out there. Yeah. But I know one of the biggest questions we're gonna get asked is how are we gonna continue to do YouTube? Are we gonna continue to do YouTube once we split? I mean, duh, yes. of course. Yes. We'll just end up doing videos separately. Separate, so it might be more like individual videos. Yeah. Or like when we are together, we'll just film a bunch of videos. But guys, it'll be, it'll be really cool. All I'm saying is we are identical twins and our lives are going very like different yes. directions. <laughs> so you guys are gonna get kind of the best, best of both worlds. World. So you guys get to see us, and we both get to just pursue career, our careers, mm -hmm. and it's gonna be super duper awesome. And we both are gonna have puppies. Bailey's getting her puppies in the next soon. week. So, and but she's taking Finn again. I am taking Finn. Finn is coming with me. Also, I feel like we should clarify that her being in Utah isn't a forever thing. There's no. potential that she won't stay there for forever. Yeah. Like, I'm just thinking I'll probably be there for a year. Like a year and a half. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, so I don't know if you guys know this, but we have a lot of family in Utah. So yeah. when we'll get to like hang out with them. It'll be super fun. Every time I would go out there to visit, I would get, you know, so many of my friends and family out there. Haley and I you, and our family used to live out there when we were younger, so I have a lot of connections. So it'll be really fun to go out there and kind of get to know everybody again and meet new people. And there's so many outdoor things to do there. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I'm really excited. I think Finn's gonna love it too, because he likes being outdoors. I will plan on filming my reaction, like how I feel about her being gone, because I can probably promise you it will be depressing. It'll be so weird. Bailey and I literally it since so since we were a child have either, either been roommates or lived together or shared a room. I think literally the longest, the longest we've ever been. Like what's my ten was dates in ten days? Your ten dates in ten days. Where it was like two and a half weeks. Yes. That was the longest like in our life. Yeah. In the 21 and couple months of our life, literally two weeks. I'm gonna fall my eyes out. It's gonna be super weird. weird. It's gonna be really weird. Brooklyn's gonna be like, bye. Bailey thinks that I'm gonna thrive. peace out. She keeps going, you're gonna thrive. You're gonna love it. And then I'm gonna be like, you're gonna be like, you're gonna leave and like not even shed a tear. You're gonna be like, bye, I'm out of here. And I'll be like, Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. You have Asa, you're fine. It's sad. <laughs> so yeah, I will have lots of exciting things happening here. I'll have a new puppy and all the other fun things. I'll still And Asa graduates in a year. So then I think that they're probably gonna move to Dallas mm -hmm. after that. So it'll be like a little bit of like, while I'm in Utah, your guys are kind of like here than there. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, we'll be kind of, and we'll also be bouncing back and forth between working in Dallas and being in Waco. Yeah. So, those are our plans, guys. Um, comment down, oh, Finn. Finn. Comment down below if you have any questions about our plans, and you can also follow us on Instagram. We update, like, daily on stuff like this. And you'll get to see, again, our lives on there. All right, so that's it. We'll see you guys next week. Bye. Bye. Bye.